Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hello, checking in on Yelp, GWPH, PC, LN, NVDA, Tesla on the daily and the weekly time frame. So the Yelp bulls with the gap and trap scenario, the bears taking back over after the gap up open and filling the gap to the downside. So I still do not trust this bull move until we get a break of 3414 at least to see some higher lows we do have or some higher highs i should say we do have higher lows at 3269 the low of yesterday all that bear momentum getting erased with that bullish news here pre-market and that gap up but again not seeing much follow through so the weekly time frame is still weak and this is why i'm hesitant we had a bear flag reject from the weekly exponential resistance head down hit lower lows and here we are seeing the same scenario rejecting from exponential resistances on a weak bounce attempt bulls have to show me some strength some conviction and some volume which i don't see yet and yelp so i'm just patiently waiting and can potentially take a bearish entry but at this point i'm just watching the range of 32.69 and 34.14 are high and low recently GWPH saw some follow through again today, but again, upper wick of profit taking. We rejected right from the 100 day and the 20 day moving average resistances, which lined up at the same point. This is a bearish inverted hammer candlestick, almost a gravestone doji. And we are likely to see some pullback from here with that upper wick showing all profit taking throughout the day. This middle Bollinger Band has been resistance now for over a month, about six weeks at this point. And it's very clear that the bulls have to get over this level in order to try and change this trend. So our new lower high is set at 120.37. The bulls need to pull back form a higher low compared to 114.37 and then see a bull break of 120.37 to get the higher low and then a higher high to try and reverse this trend which has been controlled by the bears for the past six weeks we are rejecting the back test of the weekly middle bollinger band at 19 1 so the bears are staying in control as long as that continues and we have to get over that weekly middle bollinger band in order for the bulls to try and turn around the daily momentum which is favoring the bears PCLN indecision day today a doji and the low bounced just above 1755 key support and resistance we pulled back just below the high of yesterday of 1782 so those are the levels I'm watching 1755 breaking would be bearish and we'd be looking down at 1739 next support level back here on March 22nd bull break of 1782 and we look at 1788 the recent high as well so we're getting very tight here and the bollinger bands are showing that and the weekly time frame at this point is very normal healthy consolidation two bearish weeks but you can see very very tight range not a ton of volume still holding exponential support on the weekly so the bulls are absolutely still in control and step number one for the bears red flag number one for the bulls would be a loss of 1755 and as long as that doesn't occur the bulls don't have anything to worry about nvda on the daily time frame saw a bounce today from the gap down open and we were buying that gap down open today looking for this oversold bounce you have the rsi on the hourly time frame in the mid to lower 20s and you see a gap down open we were looking for a quick push to the downside and then bulls buying that dip and that's exactly what we saw some nice gains to the upside on that oversold bounce first thing and nvda has been pretty consistent about seeing the hourly chart bounce from the mid 20s when we're oversold so that's that's really a scenario that we played out multiple times where we see the rsi low and we see a gap down open so we know to be looking for a buying the gap down scenario so it is a bullish reversal candlestick we do have an upper wick the hourly chart did establish a higher low so heading into tomorrow we are going to be looking at the bulls for some continuation if the market bulls show up we will be looking for nvda to break 9890 and then we're looking up at 9950 after that previous support exponential resistance has been rejecting the price so that's going to come into play again tomorrow but again we do have an oversold bounce underway on the hourly and we do have a higher low established 
So we're looking for some continuation. The weekly time frame has to see a close up closer to $99 to be a bullish reversal hammer. At this point, it is not a bullish reversal candlestick, and we just have our lower high and currently a higher low above 95.17, the must hold level for the bulls. Checking in on Tesla on the daily and weekly time frame, Tesla started to see some consolidation today. Unable to break the high, the all time high up at 313.73 was a red flag right away because we pulled back a double top just about 30 cents. 25 cents below that level and as soon as the bulls saw okay we're not breaking a new higher high in the first 10 minutes time to take some profit and then we saw that double top and pullback as soon as we broke 308.71 the bears started filling the gap to the downside and we still have that gap at 302.69 to be watching not an entirely strong bounce from the low of the day the bulls did buy some of that dip keeping exponential support but we could be in for further consolidation as the bulls are extended to the upside and we do have a bearish reversal candlestick forming on the weekly time frame we have not formed a bearish candlestick after this past big bull month that we've had. We're rejecting from the weekly upper Bollinger Band last week, and we're rejecting again this week. That's at 312.05, and this bearish reversal doji looks pretty clear that, they, that we are going to form a bearish reversal candlestick this week. So we'll have to be watching to see if we confirm it. But as of right now, bulls looking a little toppy, and we could be in for some short-term normal healthy consolidation following the previous very bullish month that we have had. So we'll continue to check back in. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you tomorrow.